Yep, made it through the day. Was able to get some rest last night. Woke up feeling a little better. Not fully 100% just yet, but we are plowing through it. Now, in researching the topic that I talked about yesterday, the compound and isolated exercises, I sort of had this mentality of preparing for tomorrow today. And I put together a list of a hundred different, well, yeah, close to, I'll, I'll call it an extensive list of different topics that I could potentially talk about for the rest of this challenge. And in making that list, one of the things that stuck out to me immediately was this thing called mindful eating. And it's the practice of being fully present or, you know, quote unquote, in the moment um, as you're eating your food. And what this does it is it enhances uh, the, um, it enhances digestion uh, by allowing your body to enter a restful state. I don't know how that works, but in looking up, I mean, in the, in, you know, in the past video that I've done with mind muscle connection, it's not too far fetched of a concept to understand for me, uh, just because, you know, the mind is a very, very powerful tool. And if you really put your mind into it, right, <laughs> I guess it really does make a difference. And a simple way to practice mindful eating is um, when you're eating, literally when you're eating, just uh, put your phone away. Um, I don't think you can do mindful eating if you're eating with somebody else there, because then you would be engaging in conversation and you would be having a mindful conversation. <laughs> you wouldn't necessarily be mindful eating. So I would say that it is something that you would most likely need to practice when you are eating by yourself. Otherwise, it would be very hard because the whole point of mindless, or I'm sorry, <laughs> mindless, mindful eating is to put away all the distractions and just be there in the moment. And I mean, obviously I was curious about like how that applies to um, fitness and uh, training, you know, trying to, trying to gain muscle and trying to get fit, trying to get in shape. And apparently it plays a crucial role because it is a big contributor to weight management. And what I mean by that is when you do practice mindful eating, you're not, you're not eating when you're not supposed to be, I guess is, is what it is. You're more aware of like your hung, your true hunger signals or your genuine hunger signals. And then when you are eating, you're also aware of your fullness. And um, there was like a little thing in there that mentioned that you also, in, in practicing this, you take your time eating as well. And that helps with your nutrient absorption. I think that's called. The bro explanation. <laughs> if anyone has a better explanation or if they have any thoughts about this, please uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I'm pretty sure no content, you're gonna have something to say. <laughs> uh, just in case I didn't research this fully. And if I didn't, I apologize, man. But speaking of food, I am a little behind today. Well, food, just food though. And I think it's a big contributor to that is uh, me not feeling well. I, I really don't have an appetite. I, I, I still try to force myself to eat and um, I was still able to drink a lot of water, but overall it's, it, was, it was a challenge today for sure. Uh, trying to maintain an appetite, get through my work day, try to go to the gym and then, you know, do all of this stuff as well. But again, we're doing it and we are doing it well, I hope. <laughs> but for today, I am at five out of eight pints of water drink. I am pretty sure I'm gonna be able to finish the rest of it <clears throat> as I'm editing the YouTube video and uploading it. And then for today, please don't be mad. I am at 960 calories for food 
and about 104 grams of protein. So I still have one more meal that I need to scarf down. Didn't exactly hit my, uh, my calorie or my protein goals for the day, but I was still able to hit the gym and the water goals. It's not entirely a bad thing. I've sort of been putting myself at a calorie deficit every day. And I guess this is just a more extreme way of putting myself at a calorie deficit. Um, I'm not eating as much protein as I wanted to. I will admit that and I will be honest. And I am kind of, um, I'm kind of bummed out about it. But at the same time, I, I don't know. It's, I'm not trying to force myself to eat because that, that's not fun. And when it's not fun, that's when it starts getting a little more challenging. Um, so I got, a, I got some stuff to figure out for sure, but we still got another 84 days. So hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll have something figured out uh, soon. Again, I, I just, I don't want to force myself to eat because it feels like, one, it feels gluttonous. <laughs> I don't want to feel like a fat ass. Uh, but two, it's, it's just really, really weird for me. Like I, I really don't have the appetite and I'm like forcing myself to eat. It's not, it's not cool. <laughs> I'll say that it's not, it's not cool. Um, but enough of that. I'll, uh, I'll get into my workouts for the day. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out for the workouts. Today we did the decline press for 40 reps. I was able to do 10 reps of uh, plates and tens on the decline, which I mean, for me, it's, uh, that's pretty cool. Like I, I'm definitely progressing in weights. Uh, so I think I'm doing a pretty good job. The low rows, I did 40 reps of those. I also hit a new high. Uh, I hit the 143, like the new, if you're on like the row machine, I'm pretty sure everyone is, is familiar with it. There's like the set that gets to like 121 and then the 143 is like another 20 pounds up. It's like, it's like the big boy bar, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or that's what I call it, the big boy weight. And um, I was able to hit 10 reps of that today. The leg curls, I did 40 reps. The uh, glute press, I did 40 reps of those. Crunches, I did 80, and I was doing those as a superset while I was doing the low rows. The rear deltoid raise, I, where I would normally just do like 30 and 40 pounds on the machine, today I was able to get to 50, 60, 60, and 70 which is another huge win. Wins all over, for sure. And lastly, the back extensions for 40 reps. Not bad for a sick day, right? I, I was actually kind of surprised. I, I tried going easy, but uh, my body was just allowing me to, uh, to do those weights. I was still able to maintain my form. I wasn't gassed. Um, uh, slightly in some parts I absolutely was like right after the workouts for sure but I wasn't like heaving as if I was dying from being sick right so that, that's what I mean by that and hopefully I'll have something ready for y'all tomorrow we'll see <laughs>